it's, 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 uh, it's important to protect our uh, identity uh, because you know we don't know what third party or big corporation do with your identity, with your data that you are giving to them. Hey guys, Chris from Polkadot Insider. Today with me is very special guest from Litton Trees, uh, Remy, Director of Ecosystem at Litton Trees. Uh, how are you doing, Remy? I'm doing good. Thank you to invite me today, Chris. Okay, so Remy, we are in Bali and joining Confed Asia. So how do you feel about Bali and, and, and the conference so far? Uh, it's my first time to Bali for a conference. Uh, my impression is very really good. Uh, I see that they have like a lot of potential for the you know, ecosystems to, to, to build on, on uh, Indonesia. And uh, I want to having you know some more like a deeper understanding of uh, uh, the builders uh, in Bali and mostly in Indonesia. Yeah. I want to bring also you know uh, Pukadots uh, and also the Parachain team to having more builders, uh, incubating more builders from Indonesia. And I think Face Asia was very really good potential uh, to see, to understand the market. I feel like uh, we need more um, builders from Asia, mostly from Indonesia. Uh, the regulation is getting better and I feel uh, they have like a, really, a lot of potential smart people who want to build on Web3. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yesterday I connected with a lot of cool people from Connected Capitals. They are a group of VCs currently very interesting in supporting Python team in Asia. And also we do have connected with uh, the guys from Mandata Chain, mm -hmm. currently doing um, a blockchain as a service in Indonesia and getting support from Indonesian's uh, governance. That's yeah. really interesting news. So um, let's get back to the interviews uh, today. Um, so can you tell the communities more about yourself and why you choose Web3 for your career? Uh it was like a bit. Uh, it was a bit like unexpected because I before I was uh, working uh, for Layer Ones uh, and uh, Ave, and also um, I'm doing a lot of community management and uh, business development and events as well. So uh, I started like this as ambassadors, and then a lot of projects asking me to helping them to expand to Asia, particularly to Vietnam. And through that, uh, Litton Tree asked me to join the team as well, and Pokadot also uh, asked me to to do like some of like events for them to able to uh, showcase our technology and our uh, team, um, patient team, to 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 Asia builders. Vietnam is also a very good market, uh, and uh, I've been like doing this uh, market for like five six years since 2017 and it's how I get into Web3. It was like, not by choice, just like, you know, the continuations of what I was doing. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, you know, South Asia has a lot of good builders and also tons of users, right? Yeah. But we are still not recognized, yes. Um, so, like, what are you passionate about and what are you fighting for in Web3 with Litten Tree team? Uh, what I'm passionate about is uh, collaboration, creating like a space of innovation that everyone can collaborate. You know, if if, if you are like different team, different project, it's okay because we need you know uh, those collaboration to have be able to build. Uh, you cannot build by yourself. Uh, it's very hard to build by yourself. You need a lot of you know uh, manpower and also resources. So it's why uh, this space, uh, Web free space, is about collaboration, decentralizations, and open to join if you are from you know not technical or technical i have a lot of things to to contribute yeah so we are talking about did essential yeah. identities on chain verifications so what do you think about the current stage of battery identity like from one to ten I would say we still like very early stage uh, for like the ID and on-chain identifications. Uh, I would say uh, five, 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 six. We starting you know to to having this uh, deep conversations two years ago uh, when these things happening with uh, Google Analytics, uh, Facebook Analytics, Cambridge Analytics, and all like that analytics that happening. Via, via like big corporations, Yahoo, JP Morgan, uh, some banks are leaking their um, users, uh, customers' data 
and this is like something that uh, we're having these discussions in um, in our team, and we want to you know to bring the type of privacy that you know you're sharing only what you want to share, and this is something that I've been focusing uh, with the country. It's why we are building these on-chain aggregations for identity that is very interesting for like a future. You know, if you want to, for example, uh, share only your your name without your address or without your email is possible. You are managing, you are owner of your data. Yeah. So I'm curious, you know, because this question would be kind of sensitive, you know. Um, currently, there are several platform, uh, identity platform. Yeah. They're asking us, um, not just NFTs or domains, yeah. but they're also asking us to to fill in yeah. our identities about personal address, yeah. uh, credit cards, and skill, employer, something like that. So do you think, is it important? And yeah, so how yeah. do you think about that? It's, 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 uh, it's important to protect our uh, identity uh, because you know we don't know what third party or big corporation do with your identity with your data that you are giving to them. So for example, basically when you go at, when, when, when you want to register for like a website, you have to provide your name, uh, you have to provide your age, you have to provide like a lot of things that is, you know, that is uh, not really um, good for as you to preserve your identity because those data they can be leaked and can be also used as for the bad actors, you know, to doing like phishing, scamming, for example, uh, also manipulate also um, the the power the, the way that you are consuming uh, goods and uh, services. Uh, they can you know manipulate also your mind to 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 buy more. Okay, I agree. Like, but is it any potential harms that? Users can 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 have when they they provide personal information on chain. For example, if they if they agree to 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 provide information for yeah. for literary dApps. Uh, no, no, blockchain is public, so you can uh, go to uh, the explorer just like check all the transactions. Uh, so we are trying to build uh, a framework that is preserving the privacy. So it's just only. Cryptographic. Yeah. There, there are no uh, username. There, there are no emails. There. It's just like we, we just like do it like uh, cryptographic, and you can verify. So the verification is very important uh, because you don't trust what you say in the blockchain. You don't trust and you verify. So for verifying, you we just like obfuscate the identity of our users via our uh, framework that we are building. And uh, through that, uh, you know, you can like apply for like different, uh, different like scenarios, use case. For example, uh, I'm like a user of MetaMask, or user of you know, Ethereum. Uh, I want, I don't want to provide my address. Uh, I don't want that my address is public because I have maybe I have NFT, maybe I have like some asset there. So if you are providing this uh, kind of information for third party, they can send you some like malware, or you can be targeted as you know um, someone that who have been having this NFT, and they can like send you some like scam links, kind of like that. Okay. So in my understanding, that um, for example, users they are using. I and trace at a platform, right? yeah. And they, they fill all information in, yeah. And if they use that information to getting job in web trees, mm. but how can we verify the information and reputation is true? So, uh, we call this uh, identity linking. Uh, we're using like we, we are mapping uh, and aggregate some uh, information from web to web three. So for example, the use case that you are mentioning is very interesting for job applications. Uh, job applications, often what is happening, uh, we have some discrimination between uh, you know, colors, religions, and also uh, sex. Um, usually what we are doing is like we are just providing the information and then our uh, framework is just verified. It's just like you know, the result is yes, that person have a, a Web2 account, like a GitHub account, for example, if you are applying for like a development team or for like project and as a developers, so we can like verify that okay, that person have a GitHub account with like 100 repo 
that is you know, about uh, building on solidity. So we can verify and also the users can manage his data. He, he can manage what he wants to share. If he don't want to share his email, he don't need to share his email. He just share uh, this, his repo and then we just verify that he's a developer and he have a good, we have a good candidate to, to apply for this job. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about Litten Trees. Okay. So currently Litten Tree is doing um, an identity aggregator yeah. layer, right? Yeah. So what is it all about? So we call this identity layer. Uh, it means that you are building on the on the top of the country. So the country is a patching. We are having uh, two patching uh, running on Polkadot and on Kusama as well. Uh, the country is uh, in Linux. So uh, the layer on the top is the front end products that we have that uh, you know people are doing identity linking that I was mentioning before. We can link your web two, web three account, and also different addresses. So this is like uh, allow you to uh, preserve your privacy because we are using you know different uh, technology framework to able to you know to uh, cryptographic the data that you are providing. Okay, so so I'm curious to know that what is your you guys plan to to attract more users using Web 3s identity of Bitcoin Tree because. There are a lot of platforms right now, and mm. user is fragment, fragment, right? Yeah, uh, we understand that users are fragmented, so it's why we are trying to aggregate from different sources, and it's why uh, the aggregation is very interesting. Uh, solutions for us because we don't store any data; we just aggregate it from a different uh, ecosystem or different project. Uh, for example, uh, Ethereum or Polygon, uh, Binance Smart Chain. We, I just aggregate it and then we using our TEE to, to, to preserve the privacy to our users. So this question would be very interesting. Um, you know, ZKC grow up, right? Yeah. Currently they are very a key player, very high yeah, in yeah. the industry. So, and you guys choose T trusted execution environment to, to implement its little tree layer, right? Yeah. Um, so what is the difference? Well, uh, the difference is mainly about uh, the scalability and also uh, how to customize uh, the framework. Uh, with the TEE, uh, we are using the Intel SJX uh, chips that is uh, really isolated from the main machine. So what is happening when you are putting a malicious code that is the machine, you know, are executing the code, but this uh, enclave is isolated from other uh, systems and is preserving the privacy. Uh, I would say ZK is still very new technology. We don't know how it can be, you know, adapt for like real use case. For now, it's kind of like research. For us, uh, we're interested about ZK as well, but we decided to choose the TE because we see that it's more like potential for uh, real applications, for like you know, uh, corporate ap applications because the ZK is still very new and we know sure that it can handle a lot of transactions or a lot of like uh, data. I agree, I agree. So curious, we have to learn more about TEs, right? Yeah. And, and there are a few, a few more projects currently um, using T for that. Yeah. Um, so last questions. Maybe you can talk more about more updates about Litten Trees and any cool things from from Litten Tree because this is will be the last questions. Uh, uh, like the new updates, what is happening now? Uh, we want to expand uh, our uh, patch into EVM chain. Uh, we having like. Uh, some like uh, projects and also partners uh, interested to use our technology to able to you know to cross chain what we call this like interoperability. Interoperability is very important because for now all like blockchain are isolated, so you know they are just like one ecosystem, another ecosystem, but they are not connections. We are starting to build a bridge, but the bridge is not very really safe. Uh, um, they have a lot of you know, attack on the bridge, and uh, it's, it's a, lot of, uh, a lot of like also uh, delay. Uh, the in terms of scalability is a bit slow because you compromise scalability for security. So we shouldn't do that. Uh, we should having both having like security also be able to scale it for like 
onboarding like a lot of users. So we are working with some of our partners like Binance Smart Chain and also Ethereum uh, project to able to bring those different ecosystem to the part chain to mm. Polkadot. Yeah. Really cool, really cool. So I think this is the end of the conversations and really cool to have you here. Um, so happy if we can, Polkadot Insider can help you guys in this journey, okay? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm thanks. happy also to join. Uh, I'm happy also to join some events. If you guys having, you know, events who you need me to come to join, to speak to, uh, to, to also to explain to our users uh, and new developers as well, because I, I see that Asia is a very, very interesting market and we should be putting more effort in Asia. Yeah, thank you.